Hello Cybersecurity Professionals, welcome to AV Cyberactive. In today's video, we're going to have a look at some fantastic open source websites that can aid us in threat investigation and threat intelligence gathering. So let's jump right in. But first, let's have a look at what's threat hunting. So threat hunting is a proactive process of searching for signs of malicious activity or potential threats within a network or system. Open source websites provide valuable tools, the resources, and data that can assist cybersecurity professionals in identifying and mitigating threats. Here are a few noteworthy platforms that you should check out. First one on our list is VirusTotal. It's a very popular online service that allows you to scan files, URLs, and even IP addresses against multiple antivirus engines and threat intelligence sources. Let's explore some of its key features, shall we? Now, how do you navigate or go to VirusTotal? So in the internet, you can go ahead and search for VirusTotal and go ahead and click on the very first website. The virus total website itself so you get three options from here you get file scanning url scanning or search now for file scanning you know with virus total engine its scanning feature you can upload suspicious files or instantly check them against multiple virus scan engines this allows you to detect potential malware viruses or any other malicious code that may be lurking within a file so you just simply click on choose a file it'll open a browse window upload your malicious file and it will give you the results the results would provide insights into your file's reputation and help you make informed decision on how to handle it url so you go ahead and paste your urls the suspicious urls that you want to investigate and simply go and hit enter now this would give you the results of it will scan through all the 70 or 70 to 88 in this case scan engines and tell you how many of them have flagged as it as malicious so wise totals ul scanner feature also allows you to analyze suspicious urls and determine if they pose any security risks so by checking the url against multiple databases including blacklist and other threat intelligence feeds as well and lastly for wires total we go to search i'll take a malicious hash from here by the way this also applies for ip addresses urls and domains as well so you can search any value here Hit enter and it will give you the results from 70 different scan engines and out of which 57 of them have highlighted it as malicious. If you click on the details tab, it will give you more details about the history of the files when it was submitted and the file version information it has on that one. You can click on relations behavior and what the community has to say a lot of search that can be done now remember that when dealing with potential threats uh, understanding the reputation of an ip address or or the domain is very crucial so uh, wires total enables you to investigate the ip addresses domains providing insight into their historical activities and associated malware hope this one helps Second, we look at MX Toolbox. So MX Toolbox is a popular online tool that provides various email and network diagnostics. Email header investigation is one of its popular and powerful features that allows us to analyze the source and path of an email message. Let's check out how that works. Now let's go to the MX Toolbox website. So you simply go ahead to your browser and type MX Toolbox or MX Tools. It'll take you to the MX Toolbox landing page. It does a lot of other things like you can scan your domains over here, but today specifically you'll be looking at email header analysis. 
So you, when you come into this page, you go ahead and paste in your email header. By the way, you can find this email header in into any of your email clients or web client by simply opening the email, accessing the options and clicking on view headers and that will copy this entire thing over here. Next, you click on analyze header. It'll take some time so that it goes through all of those header analysis and it'll spit you out some results. So it'll have SPF, whether it's authenticated or not, DKIM, whether it's aligned and authenticated or not. Apart from that, uh, you will also tell you uh, that, or, or else you can also, it will also review the analysis results. Now, MX Toolbox will provide you various details such as sender's information, message origin, delivery information, and server details. You can use this information to trace the path of the email, identify potential issues and anomalies, and gain insights into email's authenticity. So in this case, we have the date when it was sent, uh, the subject, the to and the from, uh, your SPF and your DKIMs as well. And also if, if there's a spam score associated with it. What's interesting is it'll also show you the routes or the path or the hops that it took for delay. Since this is a sample one, you wouldn't see a lot, but if it's a real time analysis, you'd be able to see how many hops it took to finally get it to the destination. So how you, you would see is it might have mailexample.com and then it will have some other domain and then it'll have some other suspicious domain finally reaching it to your own organization. So one thing to look out for if it's taken too many hops to get to you, then you should be suspicious of it. And that was a quick introduction on the email header analysis. Do keep in mind to review SPF and DKIM and what it does so that it will be helpful when you do your email investigations. Now the last and the third one on the list is IP Void. This platform provides a suite um, of tools and services that assist in threat hunting and analyzing IP addresses, domains, and other critical information. Now let's explore some of its key features by going through its website. Now how you search for IP Void website is just go to IP Void, Google search or you any of your favorite search engine and go to the link that comes first and that'll be your IP Void website. Now you, you over here you'll see a lot of other options like you can check your IP reputation, uh, reverse IP lookup, domain reputation reputation check and it can even check for email reputation as well. Now let's go and investigate one of them that is we enter an IP address and check and see if it's blacklisted or not. We'll put in that IP address over here. Let's change a few digits here and let's, let's see if it's able to accurately detect or investigate. Now the IP reputation check allows you to determine the reputation of an IP address by simply inputting the IP address. IP wide scans through the databases and evaluates its reputation based on factors such as historical data, blacklist status and associated malware activities. Now, of course, this website is supported by ads, so you would see a lot of ads coming in. Now, you would notice here, it gives an IP address. It gives you a reverse DNS lookup. It tells you who is the ISP of that IP address and which country it's hosted in. Uh, you can also get a geolocation of it, but I believe that would not be necessary here because it's already says that it's from Virginia and Ashburn. Uh, if there was a blacklist count, you would see it over here. Right now it says 0 of 106, which means none of its databases has highlighted it as malicious. But if there were any, you would see counts over here that out of uh, 106 search engines, a few of them have highlighted as, as malicious. Hope this one helps.
Okay, and that wraps up our exploration for some amazing open tool websites for threat investigation and email analysis. Remember that these platforms provide valuable insights and data to enhance your cybersecurity efforts. It's also imp important to stay curious and keep discovering new open source tools and resources that can strengthen your investigation capabilities. So you don't hesitate to explore more websites and also let us know your favorite ones at the comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity related content. Stay vigilant and stay secure. And I'll catch you of course in the next video. At the very least, share this video with your family and friends whom you think would benefit from this. And I hope you all have a lovely day ahead. Bye now.